Hello everybody, welcome back to Spinner Sad. I'm Sal, and today we're going to play 201G version 1.1 by Daisuke. Daisuke makes a lot of really fun games, and this one's so packed with content that it actually lags quite a bit because of how much content it's packed with. We have something of a 3D model here. We also know how to play in the game. We can go down a pipe. We need to get 20 coins at first, I guess. Left and right, B is up, B is jump, and then ZR is dash. Oh, it's 201, that's what it says. I thought it said 20, 201. So we need to get 201 coins to win the game. So let's go down the pipe and let's win the game. Already off to a hot start. It shows us our total up there. It also shows us a timer, so we can go for a best time as well. This is a really, really long game, by the way, because we do have to get 201 gold. Six more. I wonder where the six are left over. Here they are. They're up here. Oh boy. So that must be me. Yep, there's three here. So we have the first 25 and we can get through the first barricade. Yeah! I don't know if I'll play the entire game for this video. I'll play until I feel like the video is done. And then you guys can either finish it yourself or play through the whole thing yourself and let me know what you thought. I'm gonna come down here, what's down here? So mind you, I think this is a max out. So this is a max out, but 201 of those nodons are dedicated to these cylinder nodons. And the rest are dedicated to the design of the world, this person nodon, the HUD, and just general quality of life things. Do we go up or down? I think we go up, so we have to go down, because I don't want to leave anything behind. I don't know how he generated this terrain. Like, it's pretty creative how this is all put together. I don't think it's randomly generated. I think he actually put these things down himself. I need to go to the left. Thank you. But there is a lot going on. That's why this is not running at 60 frames per second right now. Although I'm recording at 60 frames per second. This TV is fine. If you come here, the camera zooms out. Hold on. I can get it to zoom out. Yeah, see how we designed all that? And now we're gonna go down there and we can see there's three coins at the top there. And then I can't see what's beyond the pencil icon. So we'll just have to gather these and keep going. But if I had missed those coins down below, that camera zoom out would have showed me, hey, you missed this. So that's pretty cool. We're at zero, we can pass. So we'll get these three. And then before we go down, I think there's more stuff to the left. Because we can go down, but I don't want to go down yet. Below the red, we can go down. Green. Is there anything beyond here? There is. Yellow. He even added textures to some of these. With those leftover nodons, he did not let them go to waste. I think that just keeps us on the path of everything else going that way. So we need seven more. There's seven more around here somewhere. And the path to continue is to the right. It's been to the left up until this point, so we're gonna be going back. Got a green. Oh, it's almost like a maze down here. We have to come down here now. There's a TV to help us zoom out, see what we missed. All right, there's four over here. No problem at all. I've got this. Two more. I do like the TV zoom out to see which ones you missed. It's very helpful. And there's two right here, nice. We need to go down and up. The TV will show us a quick route if we go by the TV again. I 
Looks like the coins turned orange down there. Is that a dragon? Wait a minute, that's a dragon! <laughs> Guys, you see that down there? There's a dragon down here. Looks like he's sleeping. And there's a giant treasure chest with a bunch of gold in it. All right, so we just go up and around. Up and around, got it. I went too far. We have to go down. Whew. This lag's a bit much. He really stuffed as much as he could into this game. I'll just try to get everything down low first. Because it looks like we'll be going up higher. Yeah, we'll climb up there. Anything down here? Alright, TV, show me where everything is. So there is stuff up there. Alright, and we have 15 more to go. So we'll be at 77. 77 is when we know we've got it. Oh, overshot that one. Good thing that there was this one here to catch me. At least I got something out of that jump. Another interesting thing, by the way, is that I have 360 movement. I can only move to the left and right, but I can spin all the way around. And I can even walk a little bit between dimensions, but I cannot wall jump off of the world. TV to confirm. Yep, we got all the ones there. So we only have 11 more to go. One more. There it is. Got it. We're at 300 seconds so far. Hmm, I wonder why this crate's here. I know there's a dragon down here. We saw that earlier. Wait, what? Oh, this shoots platforms up. <laughs> Going up. Whoa. That works, I guess. Whoa, the frames. Somebody save the frames. We're a bit dislodged at the moment. All right. I need a TV in my life to tell me which ones I'm missing. There's a coin over here. Can this car lend me a hand to get the coin over there? Oh, I think I can move the car. I think that's a strategy. Um, yeah, we're just gliding over here. Three more. Okay, three more. Where are the three? Is there a TV around here where I can see the other two I'm missing? There is a TV. Where are the other two? Oh, they're just up there. I think I can just move the car to be over there. I like how it makes noise when I move it. 
It doesn't matter if I dash or not, it seems to move at the same speed. And yeah, that should be good. Well, not like that. Okay, now I might be a little stuck with my decision. Move a little bit this way, car. Uh, a little too much, but you know what? We'll take it. Nope, we can't take it anymore. Car, stop moving this way. We need to move it back. We need to move it back in front of the TV. Okay. Now stay. Going up. Another one. Can we make it? Er, I don't know if we're gonna make this one. I think we can just jump over here and another platform will catch us. Yes. One, two. Two. There we go. Now we can progress. We're at 89 of 201. And we hit 400 seconds. And now we have a dragon. Oh. We need 12. Oh, look at how detailed that dragon is. That's amazing. So we need 12 coins. Are these worth more than one? No, they're still worth one. But they're, like, darker. It's different Gs. Eight more to go. So we need 101. Four more! Time to face the dragon! Whoa! <laughs> Am I supposed to be over here? Uh, here are the G's. Did I break it? I think I broke it. Or maybe not? I'm not sure. There's a ring over here. I'm just collecting the money. I may have done this incorrectly. Wait, what? There we go. <laughs> and now we're back at start. And now we have a crown on our head! Let's go! I think I didn't do that entirely correctly. But you know what? We won. 484 seconds. Definitely could have done better. Let me know what you thought of this game in the comments below. This is definitely a longer game, but it's hard to make a long game in Gamble the Grouch to begin with, so that's pretty impressive. It's a fun platformer. It's easy. It's simple. Just make sure you defeat the dragon next time. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. In the meantime, stay awesome, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!